Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> this is Damien and we're in Fallout 4. I just created Nora. Uh, I'm also, I'm playing with the Horizon mod and quite a few other um, cosmetic mods and atmospheric mods and things like that, like uh, Darker Nights, Rainy Weather, um, CBBE, because I can't stand the toenails and fingernails. Um, of the vanilla characters but anyway this is a horizon playthrough i have it set on survival difficulty as you can see i have no quick save or save <clears throat> and let's see if i can uh this is nora this is not uh this is not going to be a, a power armor play this is going to be a sneaky uh kind of a assassin assassin build um i'm really i'm really leaning towards hello oh yeah with horizon you can't open it okay uh, i haven't played in a long time now uh, as you all know my computer was down so uh, i wasn't able to uh to play so we're gonna name her nora um and let's see i'm gonna need perception uh, i want a view and intelligence all right so i got three strength five perception four endurance i really well i need this for sniper um eight charisma four let's take one out of charisma and put it in intelligence and then six and six uh, hmm, let's uh, yeah we're gonna keep this all right we're gonna keep that we're gonna open the main door and then she is going to get small frame uh, it gives her plus two agility, um, but her limbs are 20% more easily crippled. We can fix that with uh, some other things in the game. All right, I'm done. That's all I wanted there. All right, and that's our character created. Uh, like I said, she's going to be a sneaky kind of sniper, uh, but it's going to be more towards end game. It's going to take her a while to get there. Uh, because this is Horizon and Horizon doesn't play. Horizon doesn't care what you want to do. Make sure there's nothing uh, hidden away in here and get our first little weapon. Now, some of you remember Horizon, maybe. Some of you maybe don't. I only got a few episodes. Uh, I only got a few episodes in before my computer got destroyed. Uh, and I had converted my Enclave character over to Horizon and was working with that. Um, oh, where are you going, dude? There we go. And um, I had conver you know, converted my Enclave character over, but I've lost all that. I don't have that anywhere. So I'm just gonna have to do the best I can here. And with Horizon, you wanna pick everything up. I mean, everything you can pick up, you wanna pick it up. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on over, dude. Yep. There you go. I can loot you in a minute. Yeah, back up. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one usually gets me hit a few times. I got everything there, yeah. Uh, dirty water. Oof. I'm gonna need dirty water to make sanitized water, but... 
in, in the vanilla game, in survival, this is purified water. You can always come in here and fill bottles with purified water, but... Not so in Horizon. Hello, a trauma kit. Nice. Bandages. Yeah. Alright, let's open that door. I picked up a tape, too. Here we go. And it doesn't give me... Nice. Probably won't be coming back for you, actually, but hey. Um, I'll, I'll try to cycle through and get my pistol. Ooh, some antibiotics. That'll help. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Nothing's on hotkeys. So, looks like I have six roaches to kill with a stick. That's lovely. I'll go back over the video and see. Um, make sure the sound is okay. Uh, this is actually, I'm really kind of just testing out some, some video stuff here. How am I going to take all these guys out with a stick? Whoop. Come on back. Come on. Missed him. I have to be very careful with the uh, with the limbs, twenty percent more easily damaged. <clears throat> These guys can break an arm, and then I'm kind of up the creek. Come on, buddy. All right. That's how you do that shit with a stick. Okay. Yeah, Horizon makes everything hard. It redoes the entire game. It actually makes it a lot of fun. Crafting's completely overhauled. Weapons completely overhauled. Everything is completely overhauled. It's really nice. I like it. I'm still getting used to it. Which, well, like I said, I'd only been playing for a couple of weeks when my computer blew up. So, uh, I'm actually relearning how to play Horizon now. Um, and I've watched um, my favorite Fallout 4 Horizon uh, YouTuber is The Wanderer. He's really good. And I, I like how he does a lot of his stuff. <clears throat> oh, I don't have a pistol. That's why I have a baton. That's all I have. Um, I got a shoulder bag. Uh, vault suits five ten. That's zero zero. These are all zeros. So, um, this does not give you plus one perception or anything either. So, all right. So I got a bag. Uh, this will probably be a shorter video, uh, just getting out of the vault and, um, and getting into town. 
or getting into sanctuary, not really getting in town, but you know, nine millimeter. Oh, a combat stem pack. That's nice. All right. Just checking all the little nooks and crannies. Now, before we go in, I am going to, let's go to aid and quick save. Oh, hello. What kind of shape is this thing in? Um, you know what? It will do. Put it on two, put that on one. All right. Okay, we did a quick save. Let's go. Uh, we're good. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Soul Tech. Uh, I am running alternate start. I did keep her as a sole survivor, but I skipped all the sanctuary stuff, all that. That's why we put her stats and her name in, in the vault at that computer terminal. Because I skipped all that. I'm, I'm, I've seen that a million times. And uh, most everybody else has too. Uh, as a matter of fact, I asked a bunch of people six, eight months ago, uh, do you like seeing that or do you like the alternate start? And everybody was like, alternate start. Because that is 15 minutes of just wasted time, pretty much. All right, we are out of the vault. Now my um, creation club stuff is going to start loading in here. Uh, the prototype, that's a creation club uh, for the prototype Gauss rifle. Uh, I've got a handmade shotgun from the creation club. That's going to be loaded in. Um, I have a condominium downtown. That was her home when she was a lawyer before she got married. That's the story behind it anyway. Um, all right, and with Horizon, you pick up everything. You just fuck it, pick it all up. Okay, now I should have picked up the handmade shotgun. Let's put that on three. I have two shells for it. So what the hell do I have a spatula for? It does 11 damage, that does 14. They're both mediums. Okay. Uh, I also have the, um, the prototype rifle. Where'd the fan go? I just saw the, I didn't pick it up. Where'd it go? I need the fan, damn it. Oh, we're glitching out already, huh? All right, yeah, we're, uh, apparently we're glitching out already because I didn't pick the fan up, but it's gone. Okay. All right, well, I'm not going to whine and complain. Okay. All right, now there's always uh, some silt beans here. We want those and we want all the Kim building stuff we can find. We're also going to have to do supply runs and we're going to have to do food runs. Um, because just starting out, we're not going to have anything and it's going to be rough. Um, that's a tricycle, I think. I swear it just moved, but I, yeah, that's, yeah, let's keep moving. Because I've already taken a little radiation from water and a little damage from roaches, so, um, Let's get my melee up a little bit. Now let's come back here and 
Let's look at specials. Three, five, four, seven, five, eight, six. Now this eight is the plus two agility from her perk. Um, uh, where's it at? Uh, ah, I went blank. Um, small frame. Yeah, right here. Small frame. It gives her plus two agility. Limbs are uh, easier to get damaged. <laughs> Okay, so we got one point we can put somewhere. Where are we going to put the one point? Um, let's look at the perk chart. Okay, I want to get down here to these. Um, these are very important. Uh, that's going to let me regen my my vats chance and all that good stuff uh, I want sniper and I want dead eye uh, I'm gonna need blacksmith for metalworking and stuff uh, that's usually for well a lot of it is for power armor I'm not gonna use power armor on this build though but I do want blacksmith for metalworking skills and it may be required for big leagues I'm not sure but uh, we also want to get like survivalist and hunter um, medic because you're gonna have to have um, you know medical skills and all that stuff so starting out I can get lockpick I can get hacker I can get gun nut medic survivalist and hunter hunters um, uh, can't get it right now but uh, and then of course at level five we get vans which refunds us five points so we'll be able to put up here in uh the actual uh main special stats but uh i need local leader two which uh charisma six level two i got that i just gotta get level two okay so what do we need i've got my uh, Blitz is going to help me out with melee. Your VAT's melee distance is doubled, but only while you're not sneaking. Wow. They changed that up some. All right. Uh, this requires level 10, so I can't get this until level 10 anyway. Um, uh, we'll want to get sneak. I think I'm going to put in luck because there's we've got... Uh, six points in luck. Now, a lot of these are locked behind your level, but uh, we need at least eight points in luck because you know, number nine is uh, it used to be ricochet, but now it's luck of the devil five percent chance of completely avoiding an incoming attack, and you get five percent critical hit chance with all attacks. You gotta have luck at 10 for that. So yeah, we need at least luck nine, honestly. So we can start, <clears throat> we can start getting these. So let's put that in luck. And there we go. Okay, now. Do, 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 do. Let's quick save again, cause I'm gonna talk to Codsworth. Codsworth. Well, of course I'm still confused. He's... Oh, stop these things. It's been ages. And I go through this. I, a lot of people have already seen all this. If, I, I'll try to go a little bit slower. But, um... What? What? A bit over 200. That means you're... Uh -huh. Late for dinner. You're acting... And then he has a mental breakdown. I spent the first ten, and don't get me started about the futility of uh -huh. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't lose the sight. I did find this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Codsworth. You, you. Now, enough. Shall we search for me? 
All right. Lead the way. Sometimes he gets all cowardly too. Uh, so we have to be very careful here. Uh, I had to kill, I, I did a practice run. I had to kill all these bugs with a stick because I had, uh, I had 10, 10 millimeter ammo, but a nine millimeter gun. So, oh, oh my. Dude, quit dancing. How's it work? You gonna kill that guy or what? Wow. I'm not having fun. I hate blow flies. Just, just saying. There's something 56. What? I am poisoned also. That's great. Hey, you can see how hard these things are to kill. That's Horizon. Sweet. Okay. Where are you going? What, what are you, what are you even doing, son? Did, did God's work run all the way down here? Yes. He must've knocked the thing out the window and then it ran. And you reload very slowly, but you get perks that you, that will help out with that. Like I said, Horizon changes everything about the, the game. All right, weapon kit, field kit. There he goes after the other three. Uh, I have 24 bullets left. Great. That is not ideal. Uh... All right, I have... 12 for this now. Yeah, shotgun bitches. Yeah, good job. Good job, Kazi. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't leave us, Mum. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. What she really meant to say was, thanks for nothing. All right, 38 degraded, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay. That was lucky. All right, nine millimeter. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna basically scrap everything. <clears throat> But what I want to do first is um, I want to go kill all the bugs that are left. Uh, so we need to uh, do a quick save first because those um, those blowflies, man, they don't they don't freaking play. All right. 
You don't want to waste ammunition if you don't have to. Yeah, you don't want to waste ammunition if you don't have to waste ammunition. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so we want to use melee as much as possible. Yeah. that just give me the explosives okay uh are there bullets still on the ground here yeah there we go 38 right there on the ground Okay, all we wanted to do there was just, uh, was just, um, get the workshop available so we can actually do stuff around here. Okay, so actually we're almost at 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, I've got a few things I need to do and, um, I'm going to try to find some, some food and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to really do anything unless... I'm making a video of it now I may do some some scavenging runs without doing a video but for the most part I want to get this entire thing on video and, and get it uh, like I did with the Enclave uh, playthrough but uh, for right now that's gonna be it and uh, I hope you guys will actually enjoy this with the horizon mod it's gonna be a lot different than what I normally do um, let's see, uh, settings, gameplay, as you can see, I am on survival with the horizon mod. So, um, it's, <laughs> it's going to be fun. So, uh, let me do a quick save here. I'll show you, um, all right, auto save. Let's go, uh, Let's quit and go to desktop. We can pop up mods. Now, I'm not familiar. I think there's a uh, holotape for Horizon in my bag. Um, but let's go to load order and you can see I got the unofficial patch, the armor weapon keyword. I got architect. This is from Horizon. Um, you'll notice Nora's eyes are really blue. I have the eyes of beauty and the ponytails by Azar. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't, uh, that's a quick inner exit from that. I got armor Smith. This is horizon loot respawn. Uh, Kellogg's cybernetics are here. I have campsite. I haven't, uh, turned it on yet. Uh, here's horizon. The reason I haven't turned campsite on is cause I have, uh, conquer or something like that. But anyway, I've got the Beantown interiors. That's the one that puts so many more interiors in the game. Um, scrapping mods, Ballistic Weaver, we're gonna turn that on. There's CBBE, Dark Knight's Raining Weather there. My 10 millimeter SMG, I just gotta find one. See-through scopes, everybody likes those better than zooming in with all the blackness around you. You can just use see-through scopes. Now, it's not on every gun, I've noticed, but this one was a little buggy last time. I'm gonna try it again, it's a nano suit. Um, we got buff minute men, uh, bridge fix. I got my highwayman, my personal car. This is a new one. Reclaim the airport. Whether I go with the brotherhood of steel or I blow them out of the fucking sky, uh, I'll be able to reclaim the airport in Boston and I'll be able to build settlements there. This is conquest. This is the new one where you can, you can camp and you can build settlements and you can do stuff like that. This is the one I'm going to turn on better stores. That just gives me, instead of a lemonade stand, I can actually build a store inside of a building and make it look good. Uh, Lone Wanderer secret stash. There is a legend that the Lone Wanderer is in, you know, Boston. Um, well, his secret stash is here that he, it's his extra equipment that he has stashed out that I can go find. <clears throat> 
I still have the Enclave gear because the Enclave is kind of prevalent, you know. Um, just weapon rebalances and overhauls. Um, nothing. Uh, this just balances out the damage of all the weapons and stuff. Uh, whereas, like, the shotgun would... You, you might use a double barrel shotgun um, for a couple of hours, and then you never use it again because this balance just wouldn't keep up. Um, it also helps out the, the damage on... Um, pipe weapons because you know at one point i wanted to do a playthrough that was like a raider but they used nothing but pipe weapons i called it the engineer and they used nothing but pipe weapon stuff that they could build you know with their hands and stuff um but i couldn't really go all the way through the game with it because the pipe weapon damage just fell off so sharply it wasn't you know it wasn't viable to do that um uh companion infinite ammo this is a must if you're playing this game because it's just stupid to keep feeding them ammo for their gun they can pick ammo up um extra weaves uh, i do this because sometimes i don't even go to the railroad because i hate the fucking railroad uh more fortifications this actually gives us sandbag fortifications and barbed wire and stuff like that you can actually make something look like a fort um this is my survival quick save this is how i quick save in the game uh, we have our salvage beacons. We just got to get all the materials through Horizon to be able to build them. Uh, which, like uh, in vanilla survival, I could build one of these immediately. Uh, not so much now. So uh, that will be, uh, it'll still be early game that I'll have it, but it'll be like mid early game, if you know what I'm saying. Console enabled in survival mode, you have to do this because if the, this game is still buggy and if it does some dumb shit, you've got to be able to get out of it. Um, uh, I've got my night vision goggles back. I upgraded Kate. Here's the start me up, uh, alternate mod. Here's horizon and here's architect extras. This is all part of the horizon mod. Like I said, it redoes everything. This is all the DLC horizon DLC stuff. And here's all the architect stuff. Like I said, horizon completely redoes the game. So those are the mods that I'm running. And, uh, I may add one or two here and there somewhere, sometime or another, you know, but um, for the most part, this is what we're going to be doing. So, again, we're at 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call it. I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, by the way, it is Christmas Day right now while I'm doing the video, so Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you had a great one, um, and I'll catch you on the next one.